Hey, what's up, YouTube? Scott Skynet Tradition back with another video. Um, just got a new phone, actually, so you'll have to bear with me as I make my first video on this new phone. Um, this is a contest response for Dustin and Blake. Um, congrats on 500 subscribers. Um, just found you guys uh, in your channel within the last uh, month or so. Um, possibly from the contest that I put on, if I remember correctly. But um, I definitely like what I see from your channel. Guys do an awesome job, and we have a fair amount in common as well, even though we uh, live in uh, neighboring rival states. So um, he is asking us to make our Mount Rushmore a uh, pretty simple uh, question. At least on the surface it is, but I have a hard time coming up with a Mount Rushmore. Um, he said we could do it in any way we want as long as we had four people on the Mount Rushmore. So um, first of all, I'm just going to show this card here. Uh, this is a, uh, it's funny enough he mentions Mount Rushmore. This is uh, from Panini Pantheon, Legendary Monuments. This is a product that came out in the last year or two. And this is sort of, I guess, their Packers, Mount Rushmore. Um, Brett Favre, Bart Starr, Aaron Rodgers, and Reggie White. Just an awesome looking card I picked up this past year. Let me turn it around here. Um... Just awesome, all game worn material as well. Uh, numbered one out of two, so just super cool card. So we'll just set that in the back as we go through everything here, and um, so I, I decided to do this in two ways. So first, I'm gonna do my, I guess my you know my channel Scotty tradition. I'm a huge Wisconsin sports fan, so we're gonna do the Mount Rushmore of Wisconsin sports. Um, obviously, this is very difficult. I mean, you've got some all-time great Bucks players. You've got some great broadcasters. You've got, you know, the Packers list is ridiculously long. You've got some, a couple great Brewers and Milwaukee Braves in the mix. Um, no hockey, unfortunately, in Wisconsin. But, yeah, there is certainly enough to pick from. So I did come up with four uh, of an all-time Wisconsin kind of iconic sports team. A little bit of mix of old and new. Um... So I wasn't going to put this guy on here because um, he's still playing, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, this is the uh, 05 Topps Chrome Aaron Rodgers rookie card. And um, the reason I put him on there is just because he will go down as one of the all-time greats. He'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, he's already got the NFL records and career passer rating at 103.1, uh, 122.5 passer rating in a season record. He's got the all-time touchdown to interception ratio record of 4.23 to 1. Um, this past year he just broke the most uh, comp uh, comp it was the most pass attempts, 402 without an interception. And it's not just that. He did win a Super Bowl and he's a two-time league MVP as well. So, so Aaron Rodgers is going to be on my Wisconsin Mount Rushmore number one. And we'll scoot that one down. All right, so number two on the list, we're going to go old school basketball for the Milwaukee Bucks, Oscar Robertson. Here's his 61 Fleer rookie card, 12-time um, All-Star, six-time NBA assist leader, won the NBA championship in 71 with Oscar and Kareem. I thought about putting Kareem on the, the all-time list, but we're going to give it to Oscar Robertson instead. So that's my number two guy on my Wisconsin Mount Rushmore. Number three, Milwaukee Braves. Um, this guy's still revered in Wisconsin. Um, he spends a lot of time with the Brewers franchise still. Um, obviously, uh, the Milwaukee Braves moved to Atlanta uh, back in 65, but he did spend his first 11 years in Milwaukee from 54 to 65, I believe it was. 25-time um, All-Star, um, MVP of the league in 57. Uh, lifetime batting average of 305, 3,700 hits, 755 home runs, 2,297 RBIs. Pretty ridiculous. Plus, he also finished his career in Milwaukee, coming back to the Brewers organization in 75 and 76. So, he comes back for all the functions and events and everything like that. So, um, Hank Aaron is definitely a revered figure in this state. So, would we'll put him up here. And I really wanted to put Bob Euchre on this list, too, because he really is a kind of a state symbol. 
uh, to be on a Mount Rushmore, but I decided to go mainly with players for this. Um, last but not least, we have uh, Bart Starr here, and not enough, I mean, enough is known about him, I think. Um, basically, Bart Starr, five-time NFL champion, including two Super Bowls, also two-time Super Bowl MVP. Um, one MVP of the league one time as well, five-time passer rating leader, and his 9-1 and one postseason record is pretty awesome. And this was a big pickup I had uh, this past year, so just an awesome card. Let's see a little hair right there. This this actually this new phone's pretty sweet. I can actually see things really well. Um, but yeah, Bart Star is definitely going to be on my Mount Rushmore. So there's my all Wisconsin Mount Rushmore, I guess, if you will. Um. And then I decided to, why not do, um, since Packers are what I mostly collect, we're going to do an all-time Packers Mount Rushmore specifically as far as Packer cards go. So I'm going to get rid of these three. We're going to leave Bart Starr up there because he'll stick on this Mount Rushmore. And we're going to add uh, what I consider to be four of the most iconic Packer cards of all time, rookie cards. Um, so Bart Starr is on the list. We already talked about him. Number two on the list. 35 National Chickle, Clark Hinkle rookie card. This is just um, Clark Hinkle was a great player in the 30s for the Packers. Um, Two-time uh, NFL champion, seven-time All-Pro, played offense and defense. And uh, I tell you what, Clark Hinkle was kind of like Bronco Nagurski's main nemesis at the time. You just don't hear about Clark Hinkle as much. But as far as Packer cards go, this is one of the Hardest cards to get. This is uh, graded to PSA 8. Um, and I believe it's pop population of 18. Only two graded higher ever. And those are both 9s, I believe. So just an awesome looking card there. Love Clark Hinkle. He definitely makes the all-time Packers rookie card list. Mount Rushmore. Um, then another guy who all of you should have heard of is Don Hudson. Great wide receiver for the Packers. Um... This is an iconic card right here, his 55 Tops All-American card. Um, he's a three-time NFL champion, two-time league MVP, eight-time All-Pro. Still holds 23 NFL records in receiving, Don Hudson. Yeah, his main uh, time of opera operation was the 40s. And so Don Hudson, this is just a beautiful example of the card. Uh, Don Hudson is going to be on most people's top five, top ten of NFL players of all time list of at any position. Just what he was doing in the 40s just wasn't being done. Like it, it was just ridiculous. This guy could have probably could have played wide receiver today, to be honest. He was that good. So Don Hudson makes that Mount Rushmore of Packer cards. Packer rookie cards. Um, and then the last one. Um, there is a lot. There is a lot of people I could have picked on this list. It, it was kind of difficult, but we're gonna go with uh, Ray Nitschke for the final spot here. Um, here's his 63 tops rookie card uh, Nitschke was uh, a five time NFL champion as well multiple time all pro uh, the thing with Nitschke is um, you know, it's hard to measure stats for a linebacker but he just was one of the most feared feared players at that time along with Dick Butkus for the Bears um, they had some great rivalries and they were just kind of like 1 and 1A one but you gotta have a defensive guy in this list and Ray Nitschke's the guy. So there's my all-time iconic Packer rookie cards. Scoot these guys over a little bit. There we go. So those are my two Mount Rushmores. So we did uh, kind of like all-time Wisconsin sports Mount Rushmore, and then we did uh, Packer rookie card Mount Rushmore, which is right in front of you here. And, of course, we have the actual Mount Rushmore card here, which is pretty unique, uh, you know, in regards to this contest. So... Thanks again, Dustin and Blake. Um, you guys do a wonderful job. Keep up the good work. Um, I guess enjoy the weekend. Enjoy yourself maybe a Grain Belt Northeast or a Shell's beer, um, as you say. Um, and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. And go ch check out Dustin and Blake if you have not already. Take care.